I come from New Hampshire. I'm a New Hampshire boy. Live free or die. Those are your choices. Think fast. <laughs> I'm still upset about the old man in the mountain. You know, face fell off. It's just, it's creepy. It's creepy to outlive a geological feature. <laughs> I am older than the hills. <laughs> that one anyway. <laughs> but New Hampshire, <laughs> New Hampshire is New Hampshire. They still go to the place, the parking lot, and they get out of the car, and they stand there and they look up at where it used to be. <laughs> Very New Hampshire. <laughs> In Concord, New Hampshire, the, uh, the state hospital, the state mental institution, is on Fruit Street. <laughs> it's a great place. Yeah. My musical career actually started at the, uh, at the Concord State Ho Hospital. My, my mother donated me. She was always giving stuff to the state hospital. It was a family joke. If you couldn't find something, you know, where's the dog? Mom gave it to the state hospital. <laughs> and she gave me to the state hospital. Somebody there was saying, you know, we've got a lot of musicians in the inmate population. Someone should form a band. And mom's little eyes lit up. Said, My boy, Tommy. And next thing I know, I'm 16 years old. I'm headed down to the, to the hospital with my little cardboard guitar case to organize a band of inmates. And at that age, you don't know what's weird. You don't. You don't. At that age, everything's weird, and you just try to be cool. You know? But looking back on it, this was a profoundly strange experience. It was partly because they were doing this thing at the time where they didn't believe in uniforms. Uniforms were degrading to somebody, so the doctors and the staff and the patients all just wore street clothes. And you couldn't tell who was whom. <laughs> And you chat with people in the hallways and on the paths outside, trying to figure out where they fit into the overall scheme of things. And you couldn't tell. This was exacerbated by the fact that they had this kind of closed, uh, this revolving door thing going on where patients would sometimes get better, but they'd have no place to go home to, so they couldn't discharge them. So they'd make them orderlies. And meanwhile, the staff was overworked and stressed out and would sometimes become patients. <laughs> and so they had this sort of hermetically sealed mental health terrarium you know, <laughs> going on. And it was in this context that I organized my first band. <laughs> and it probably doesn't mean a thing, but all the musicians, it's just chance, I'm sure, but as chance would have it, all the musicians were in the forensic swing, the, the criminally insane. And I had a, an axe murderer on lead guitar, an, an arsonist on drums. Nobody knew what the bass player was in for because he never spoke. Seldom played the same song as the rest of us. But looking back on it, they weren't that different <laughs> from other bands that I've... Thanks for coming, guys. Way up north, by the ice-bound ocean, I was born, I was born. Way up north, in the Merrimack County, that's my Distant sang about tomorrow. I did wish I was grown and gone. Well, as I grew, indeed I ran out along the open road. There I learned. The rainbow circle is truly set. That's a 
sign of storm. Mr. David Buskin, Robin Batso. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so much.